This is Sound Off 60, Southwest Louisiana's premier sports show. Coaching staff was just like, you need to go through the same routine you were going through in the minor leagues. It's going to happen. Yeah. Our, our skipper actually moved me up to the two hole in the order in the, yeah. in the middle of that and said, hey, you're our guy, you're going to play. Wow. And uh, we believe in you. And then got a few hits, started believing yeah. in myself. Eight, eight. Oh. Julio's coming back. Oh, forget it. Forget it. The game's over. Oh, Julio. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. The LSU Tigers are in, but they're waiting for their next super regional opponent. We'll find out. The Cavaliers are still in it. Barely. Wait, we'll get wait, into the NBA wait, Finals and a whole lot talk more about on this, tonight's but, show. I mean, pump the brakes. Pump Didn't the this brakes. happen last year? What is that, a new a little hip Didn't, song? Yeah. Pump the brakes. <laughs> Didn't this happen last year, Scooter? I, I like the that. exact same I don't remember, scenario? Kid. Yeah. If yeah. I'm not no, mistaken. No, it's not the exact same scenario. And, and I'm, and I'm going to scratch my again, head. Again, again. Who ended up Gidry. winning the again. championship? Mr. Guidry, too many knocks to the head in football. No, I it think is, he got you. No, it's not the same <laughs> scenario. They were down 2-0. They were down 2 nothing. Because Mr. Kevin Durant. We will talk about yes, that. Yes, we will. Later on we in the have show, a solution NBA for that. Finals. A lot of fun, a lot of baseball, and a little bit of football we'll mix in. Yes. Welcome to the show, boys and girls. We're here at Jack Daniels once again at LaBarish Casino uh, with you for 60 minutes. That's why we call the show Sound Off 60. Yes. All right. Don't forget, WWW fill in the blanks. You remember it? I yes. hope you do. Sound off Sound 60 off TV. 60 TV. 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 It's the website. Check us out on the web. If you miss By any means, of the show, check us out. you can see it rebroadcast yes. uh, on Southern Link Channel 4 all through the week, every night at 9 o'clock, and of course on the we'll website. We'll be coming at you. All right. Um, boy, this, you know, the weather in Louisiana, Mississippi, and even probably parts of Texas played havoc on the regional baseball. Oh, you were up no covering, I mean, you were covering baseball. Actually, Bad like Rouge got lucky. Did they really? They did. I mean, it didn't rain there nearly if they could. I was there, I don't know, but it sounds like it rained a lot more here than it did there. Yes, it did. They died. It did. I mean, they ended on the same day they were supposed to. Which is, which is pretty good. <laughs> but late games, that is. they all seem to be yeah, running late. But that was partly SPN's fault. Yeah. They scheduled them yeah. late. Yeah. Those late games Don't are get killing. me started on that. No, we won't get yeah. you started on the ESPN late guys. I'm not a big fan of it either. No. Uh, look, guys, the overall picture of this. Oh, by the way, in the fourth chair tonight, McNeese Cowboys head baseball coach Justin Hill. We will have will him join on tonight. Us in the fourth yeah. chair. The fourth chair is not here right now. That's why we call it the fourth you're chair. You're going to get one. It we will mysteriously appears. It Justin will, as Hill, always, Rick. As our guest. He'll come on and talk about. Well, that's going to be kind of. I think it's a snub by the NCAA. It's that's a gotta snub. It's got to be rough on him, but we'll see what it's yeah, coming. We'll, we'll, we'll talk it's to Justin be rough about on him that though. and a whole lot more. When it comes to the LSU, look. Uh, you know, uh, error prone again, but I think a comfortable, a comfortable wins. Did, uh, would you say that yeah. they were oh, very comfortable? Yeah. I mean, all they were region. not as sharp right. as they were the previous week in okay. the SEC tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, particularly that comedy of error. Well, you know, the last two games they were error free. Yeah. Let's yeah. remember yeah. that. That's true. That's true. But made five. So, so when he jumps on the, no. the, the when he jumps on the, the bandwagon, you're gonna use that phrase with him. Pump the brakes. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Everything's okay. Hey, I mean, my that, Tigers are waiting on but, their next but opponent. They were That's not it. Sharp and won all three games comfortably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go ask, why do you think that is? Huh? Why? Well, they were I mean, the better the, team. Well, no, I'm saying but why also, weren't they sharp? Is it just, just you know oh. maybe is playing down to the competition a little bit? Maybe uh, pumped up. With, you know, but no. Wondering about that steak coming after because, the game. I mean, I, I forget it every year. We're trying year. to set my guys up, but I'm, I'm going to let it make it. Up. Up. But I'm going to let it make it. I forget every year, and then I go over there to their annual celebration of the regional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just a different atmosphere. Yeah. It is. It is. It's it's different. It's an electric atmosphere yeah, yeah. there. Every team that ever comes in there talks about that's the yeah. best place you can go to play college baseball. Let, let me ask you this, because again, because of the late games and because of the lack of coverage by ESPN and, and whatever, other than online coverage, mm -hmm. uh, what was the turnout like? Because, and let Had me preface it by saying- Had to have not been good. Had to have not been good. No, it was great. Really? No. In, in fact, uh, I'm talking about attendance. Two in particular. Yeah, that's what I'm, when you play at 2 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. That's LSU now. For, they had first the early pitch. Yeah. First pitch. 
it wasn't packed, but yeah. by middle of the second inning, pretty packed. Okay. Really? And uh, the okay. said that because and it, the Saturday night game did not start till almost ten o'clock. Oh, see that's I could ridiculous. Not that, is that is crazy. That is crazy. What was the schedule time well, for that, that game, was, school? Uh, eight, I eight. think. Well, but, okay. All right. Uh, you know, you my point, my, my yeah. point, gentlemen, as I bopped around, you know, watching uh, bits yeah. and pieces of. Uh, Boy, I saw some. I saw some empty stadiums. It, it was. I, I really saw the same did. thing you well, saw, Rick. I, I guess that was a lot because of the weather. Too. Maybe. But maybe. Like I said, LSU. You know, they had a few rain delays. I don't. Uh, but but none of them lasted that long. Like there were uh, the TCU regional. They didn't play at all Saturday. Yeah. No wow. Friday. Yeah. Wow. They didn't play at all. Yeah. So they're immediately backed up. Yeah, they're immediately back. You know, look, that's Mother Nature, Kevin. But let me tell you, it is. Boy, it happens. You know, a, 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 an eight to ten o'clock. That's Rick Sarrow's gonna be. Hey, he's gonna be thinking about you're a not state by somewhere. Yourself, Rick. I, I that's shocked. a tough one. And I'm I mean, shocked. I guess uh, they they love taking pictures of little kids sleeping yeah, on bed. Yeah, that's exactly what the yeah. That's a coverage would have been. I at midnight. How many little kids? Yeah. were at that ball. Park. Wow. All right. So so it was you know a, a comfortable wins. Yeah. Southeastern, uh, you know, 11 to 6, 10 to 7, 10 to 6, something like that. Yeah. There was, and, and well, that Rice. was, a, that was a, had the feel of a closer game yeah. than that. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rice. Uh, and the 81 year old manager made his way out when he needed to, didn't he? He's a hoot. Not real fast. No, Not real fast. <laughs> he's going to get there. He's going to get there. there. I like that. Yeah. Your thoughts on the Southeastern coach? Young fella, I mean, you, you brought really it out young. about the very, generational game. Very that impressive. Was. You had a 33-year-old coach against an 81-year-old coach. I, I was very impressed. When we asked Justin yeah. Hill uh, later, very well-coached team. Yeah. And about as aggressive offensively mm -hmm. as I would see. They, you, you remember the, the finale play in Major League? Scoring from second on a ball. Yes, 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 yes. They ran that and pulled yeah. it off. Yeah, really, wow. really. Wow. Well, not exactly. I mean, they no. had discipline, though. Second and third, uh, and it was actually a sacrifice because mm -hmm. he did get thrown out yeah. at first. Yeah. He didn't have to beat it out. Yeah. yeah. But a guy scored from second. A guy got two RBIs on a sacrifice bunt. Bunt. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because there was no error involved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wow. did get again. My lack of ability to watch that more of that regional, I did catch the ending of, don't ask me why, but I just, Texas and Long Beach State out in California. Really? Do you know what the mascot name of Long Beach State is? I'm, I'm waiting I on I did that. not know that. I'm waiting on this one. It's, it's not really dirt But what, it's on their what, jersey. Dirt what is bag? the story behind and that? Is dirt bag? No way, Rick. Yes! Oh, Scooter, it's dirt bag? back in the 90s, I think. When they, I mean, what, what is their official they mascot? Proud. What is their official mascot? I think their official mascot is hey. Gachos. Hey. Okay, okay. Hey. But, uh, but it's, it's, it's on their jersey and it's hey. on the stadium. If I did I'm not go out each day and practice my butt off and, and look to win and be successful. Dirtbag. <laughs> my fans are going to call me Dirtbag. Dirt bag. Go Dirtbag. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I well, thought it was they, great. You know, Come on, was a deal they ride. They, I think they started calling themselves Dirtbags because of you know, they're hard nose. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, I get had that. The, but who, who had the dirtiest uniform? Yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Okay, but you yeah, know the term dirt bag. I, I is thought they've been called dirt bag. If you I, I follow was, college baseball, okay. I, I, just, I knew okay. they had a good program. Long that's a good State, one, I never knew wow. that's what was on their jerseys. Yeah. And all yeah. of a sudden, and, I'm thinking, what and is just, that? Dirt bag. Let me, like you know, we were surfing all the time. Great game, though. Great game. I had a chance to watch some of the girls, and you probably watched some of it too, but. Guys, I did not know Florida girls were that good. Holy smoke. Yeah. Scooter. I didn't see any of that. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, they blew I away. I didn't the know they were that good. Blew. All right, up against the clock. The fourth chair will mysteriously appear. Yes, Mr. it Mr. will. Mr. Gidry. And in it will be Cowboys head baseball coach Justin Hill to talk about Glad the to NCAA, the regionals so far, and the Cowboys and how they're going to be looking to formulate their yes. team for next season yes. and beyond. Stick around. Justin Hill's coming up next. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. Lately, Bud Light's been talking about what's on their cans. But at Miller Lite, we focus on what's in our can. More taste, less calories, and half the carbs. Spelled different because it's brewed different.
Come in for live country music Friday and Saturday nights at Jack Daniels Bar and Grill. When you make something first, you can spell it however you want. Miller Lite, the original light beer. Spelled different because it's brewed different. All right, welcome back. We want to welcome in Cowboys head baseball coach Justin Hill to the fourth chair tonight as our special guest. We're going to spend yes. about 10 minutes talking about a myriad of different things, but mostly <coughs> about the NCAA yeah. and the Cowboys of this year and looking forward mm -hmm. to next season. First off, uh, earlier in the show, right, really in the opening segment, I called, it, I called the Cowboys not getting in an NCAA snub. Right. Is that too harsh? No, that, that's just the way it works sometimes. I mean, you know. Uh, but you're not going to call it a snub. <laughs> it's your, your, no, I can't do that. I no, I didn't think so. It's, uh, you know, sometimes you're the benefit of the conference tournament. Sometimes right. you're you're on the you're on the outside looking in, and uh, you know, the, not getting a chance to play in the in, in the tournament. Um, you know, it, really disappointing for our guys. Uh, I understand how it works. There's there's all those stolen bids with teams that um, are projected to win their their conference tournament, just like we were. Um, and it doesn't work out sometimes. Right. It, it's it was difficult being one of those last few teams left out. Um, that's life sometimes. We but before, hold, but before you move on, but on that on that thought though, you good. were still holding out though. I mean, even those when yeah. those regionals were starting to be announced right. late, especially in the on the Texas side, Lubbock and Fort Worth and Houston and Austin or wherever, you still held out a little hope, didn't you? As long yeah. as you got hope. I mean, what what else do you have? I mean, if, if you know, it's one of those things that um, we knew we were deserving. You know, we, that's, we, we knew that's we were my deserving. Point. Yeah. And, um, but it doesn't mean some of those teams that didn't get in it wasn't deserving, you know. I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me if at some point, with, with as many good teams as there are in college baseball, um, seeing that number go up at some point. Um, you know, if you look at, if you look at uh, Division I football, how there's 125 teams, but there's 72 teams playing in bowl games. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's considered postseason. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but, but if they, you look they're as, not playing for the championship. championship. Right, yeah. that, that's true. <laughs> that's much. true. I mean, I don't and, know about expanding the field, but... <laughs> We talked about this last week too, in discussing not getting in. What what is the point of this of a conference tournament? Um, well, I mean, it's it's something that gives everybody an opportunity to continue playing for something. I mean, everybody's continuing to playing for something, um, whether it be for a team that's not going to win the regular season. Maybe their RPI, RPI wasn't good that year. Uh, you still have uh, something to play for for that year. Um, you know, it, it, it means a lot means a lot to a lot of people, a lot of kids. I've been, like I said, I've been the benefactor twice in oh, my I career know. of that. Yeah, I understand um, that. And then, you know, also it, it, it helps other teams, you know, maybe make a case for a national seed. You know, I, I think I think the level uh, that it that that it affects people just depends on where they're at on the national stage. Well, and I, and I understand, you know, the <laughs> the SEC can have a conference tournament. Mm -hmm. It's not going to hurt anybody. Might help someone. Right. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the Southland is at risk of, of maybe eliminating its best team. It could. Year. It could, you know. But if you, if you look over five of the last six years, the conference champion has gotten in as an at-large bid if they didn't yeah, do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But what, you know, what it has done, it, there have been multiple bids in the Southland Conference. And, and this year was no exception. Mm -hmm. It just, the only exception well, I think was. I the Southland's probably a two-bid league most years, and that's what held this year. It did. It did. And, and, and you know, not to take anything away from what Southeastern did this year, they had a great year. They, they had all the I metrics and, and different things. They, they did a good job. They did a good job. And um, they had a good season. It just so happened when it came to conference play, we just we just had a little bit better year. Yeah. And, and I know, Coach, we talked about it early, and, you know, I know the conference, <coughs> getting that bid and winning it plays a lot. And. But just looking back on the season, that's probably one of the best seasons in school history mm -hmm. that you guys had. And not being able to make it for whatever reasons, but coming back, addressing your team coach as a coach, what does that do to them as a group? Does that diminish somewhat as to what all they've accomplished for the entire year to know that because you didn't win your Come on, Kevin. Tournament. You don't get in, and you don't right. get in that large bid. Anything like that. What does that do for your morale of your team coming back for next year? I think they'll be fine. I mean, you know, I, I, we we were certainly disappointed. You beat some um, pretty good people this year. We did. Coach. We did. We had a really good schedule. We beat some really good teams. And uh, uh, Sam Houston, Southeastern. Uh, I, I think 25% uh, of our games uh, were against regional opponents that, that that made it in this year, including Missouri yeah. State, who's playing yeah. for 
chance to the Super Regional yeah. this year. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where um, I, I think you got to look at it. it. It was somebody else's opinion that we didn't get in, and, and they were comparing you. It was something that didn't necessarily play out on the field. Right. Um, what we did uh, played out on the field, and, and th that was what they could control. Mm -hmm. um, for our team to do what they did over 14 weeks, uh, I've, I've been a part of regular season champions. Yeah. I've been a part of tournament champions, and uh, for a tournament championship, you got to get hot for four days. Yeah. Uh, but for a regular season, you got to be good all, all 14 weeks. And uh, not, notwithstanding the midweek games, because those matter too. Yeah. Uh, obviously, a lot, probably a lot, lot more yeah. to mid-major, and especially here at McNeese. And, um, and they're tough. Sometimes they're, they're more talented than maybe your conference opponent. But we've got to be up for all of them. Yeah. And uh, what they did over uh, how many ever games we played this year, it doesn't diminish anything. Yeah. Um, and and does, it, does it make you sit there and look, should I schedule a little bit differently? Is there anything I could do? Um, sure. Sure, there, there's there's always those ifs, ands, and buts, yeah. but can't do anything about that. No, not, not not this year, you know, because I mean the only thing it did was make it the the decision to get a little bit bigger ring a little bit easier. So yeah. we're gonna get the bigger ring say this year. Cowboys head baseball coach Justin Hill has joined us on Sound Off 60 at LaBerge Casino. Jack Daniels to talk about the season, the NCAA, and things such as that. Um, talked about the stolen bids. That obviously played a key role in this thing. Um, we just got finished, we're doing our, our show production on a Monday, and we just got finished seeing Sam Houston knock off their regional number one seed, and now yeah. they're in the Super Regional. A yeah. national that, seed. A national Texas seed. Texas so Texas that, uh, that has to make you feel, I mean, one of the brethren of the Southland, that has to, that has to lift the entire conference. No question. I mean, Sam Houston going, yeah. to, a, going to a Super Regional. No question. You mentioned how competitive Southeastern was. They didn't I'm win. I'm very but, impressed with Southeastern. You know, so In fact, I was shocked. Let me just say it. I was shocked that Rice beat Southeastern yeah, yeah. Yeah. to advance to, to play LSU mm -hmm. in the regional final. Yeah. After going into that game, I just assumed Southeastern. The moral would of the question can you envision at any point the Southland possibly getting three? No question. I can. I no question. Okay. No Bye. question, especially mm -hmm. after you look at what, what Southeastern. Uh, they, they took they took LSU to the brink in that game yeah. against mm -hmm. against a, a number one arm, a, a, a first round draft pick and. Uh, how they played, Whether the result of the, of, of the game notwithstanding, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's the entertainment value of the game and how they played and how they competed. Yeah. Uh, people remember that game more than they will anything else. Um, yeah. You know, th th that took a lot of energy out of both teams in that <coughs> game. Uh, obviously, what, what Sam Houston just did, um, you know, they, they've, they've broken through some barriers. And so, yeah. I mean, I, I think that's going to allow our conference uh, to continue to break through barriers. Uh, you, you know, we, we've got to continue to schedule well. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a tough league, and I think people are starting to see this is a tough league. And it's, it is worthy, if the teams show up and do what they can do, it, it is worthy of three bids if, that, if that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You think those two teams are kind of making the case that you should have been in the tournament, maybe? <laughs> I would say, I think if you ask. Uh, making the case for you? I, I think so. I think if you ask both their head coaches, yeah. Um, which, which, you know, obviously I'm, I'm happy for Matt uh, yeah. Deggs and Matt Reiser and what they did this year. I was, yeah. I was pulling for them, and I, I text them both back and forth. And um, I think they would tell you the same thing. Some of the biggest battles we had this year was against both of those guys mm -hmm. yeah. at their ballpark. And uh, both, two of those games, uh, one in each place, was it with a walk-off hit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. There, there, were, there were some battles in what we did. So I, I was – Again, it's one of those you watch the games this weekend, you wanted to be playing, there's no doubt. Yes. Um, but I, I think they're making a case for obviously how good our season was. Coach, when you look at this year and you say, you know what, everything that we did took place on the field and we had to live with what that turned out to be and everything, and I get that and I understand that. Coming back for next year, what are some of your thoughts maybe that you can maybe press upon your kids? to say, you know what, we had a great year last year, but you know what, we've got to do something even better this year to make sure that we are that team. Right. Every game matters. I, I think they'll start to understand, you know, every game matters, whether, whether it was uh, <coughs> two midweeks against Houston, yeah. the two midweeks against Lafayette, um, possibly uh, two of the games against Corpus Christi, one of the games against Northwestern, uh, you know, uh, the game against Lamar after we clinched the championship there. There were there were so many games, and, and you, you point out the losses. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the easy. But I mean, there were some games we probably won that we probably should have lost too. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of times we came back. Um, I, I think um, the the other side of it is is the growth side of it, and, and the fact that 
Um, I, I think they were they were talking about it on the air. I think Ben McDonald was talking about it. With yeah. sometimes you got to you got to get there a few times before you understand how to how to understand the moment, how to deal with the right. moment. Um, for instance, what what was going on at Alec Box Stadium uh, on Saturday night? You, you can't prepare for that. You just have yeah. to be in the moment. You You're have to right. get back to that moment. Right. You have to be in those those situations. You have to know that you can. It, it's a baseball game. And if you look at after that third inning. Um, and Scooter, I'm, were you were you at the ballpark that mm -hmm. night? Yeah. Well, after the third inning, it was yeah. just a baseball game. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a baseball game. It was just who played the best. Now yeah. the first three <laughs> innings looked like a heavyweight fight. Yeah. With trading blows, but after that, it just became who played the best baseball for, yeah. the, for the last yeah. six innings. So, it's understanding that and being able to handle the mental pressures that go along with that because they're real. The yeah. mental pressures are real, are. and if you if you ignore those, and and our guys understood going yeah. through a seven, a fourteen week season and all the preseason things. Yeah. We understood the mental grind that it takes to go through that, and, and uh, we'll be better for it. Yeah. Justin Hill, Cowboys head baseball coach. In our final minute, we want to talk about the seniors leaving and the roles <laughs> playing, but I, I, I'd be remiss in not using the uh, quasi analogy of marathon versus a sprint. You talked right. about the 14 weeks. It's a marathon of a baseball season. It's it a is. grind it's a versus the sprint of a weekend tournament. Uh, I'm going to get off that soapbox, okay? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The, the names are going to be familiar to Cowboy fans, and, and you are obviously uh, Gallier, Ramirez, Sanders, Fontenot, Colbert. Uh, who am I missing? Fox. Seniors that are leaving, yeah. and then the the shoes and the voids that you're going to have to fill next season. But you got a lot of people coming back too. Provenzano, a great player. Selman, hitter of the year in mm -hmm. the Southland. Yeah. Uh, the well, cover is stocked pretty well. What? Duhon, catch it. Duhon. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a, we've got a good group coming back. I mean, I. I, I you you ask that you you answer the same questions every year. How can you replace Andrew Giad? Yeah. How can you replace yeah. Connor Lloyd? How can you replace uh, Connor Crane, uh, Cameron Tool? Those guys, um, you, you you can't you can't you just you just hope that that the impact that they made, the leadership that they uh, displayed for our guys, can continue to live on. Yeah. Um, because it's it's one of those the names just change, and we have a lot of guys that that are still hungry. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, when we did our exit meetings, there were, there were still, while we're excited about getting a ring and excited yeah. about the championship, there's a lot of guys that probably wanted to, I know they wanted to contribute more to that championship. Yeah. Now, while they may have contributed, they wanted to contribute more. Mm -hmm. And th there's, there's something about that competitor inside of you. I got some competitors coming back. Brian King uh, did not have the year that he wanted. Right. I don't think there's any question about that. And, and, and you could tell kind of how it wore on him. Um, but he, he's going to come back a little bit different player. Uh, Dustin Duhon wants to continue to get better. Yeah. Uh, we, we've got some guys to replace. I mean, there's no question. And, mm -hmm. and, and you can't just fill those voids through recruiting. That's got to come from within your program. Uh, you, may, you may get some guys. You may get yeah. some guys through recruiting, but uh, it's the culture that, that continues to um, elevate the status of your program and what you're doing. So uh, they've set the bar high for sure. Yeah. In our okay. final eight seconds, you must feel very good about the foundation and the culture that you've laid. Because yes. you've increased the win totals the last three years. You feel good about it, that. you know. And this year was our toughest schedule that we played, and, yep. we, and we won the most games that we have. And um, it, it's it's going to continue to be difficult, but that's that's part of that's part of getting good. Um, yeah. And, and obviously, with the teams that we know that are in the regionals, um, it, it's going to continue to be a battle. And, and the, you know, the thing is, when tough times come, we know we've been through those tough times and come out on the good end of it. Justin you. Hill. Well, again, I would be remiss in stating Southland Conference Coach of the Year. Congratulations yes, for, for sure. that honor as well, Thank for you. winning the regular season conference championship. All right. Justin, appreciate it. Have a good off season. Appreciate it. Thank we'll you talk very to you much. soon. Taking a break. Coming back with so much more. Jack Daniels at LaBerge Casino. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. Check us out online at soundoff60tv.com. Are you trying to stay cool with a temporary fix? There's a smarter solution. Save on your monthly energy costs while enjoying quiet and consistent comfort this summer with a highly efficient air conditioning system from Luxair. We'll recommend a system that is perfectly suited to your home and provides optimal cooling, exceptional energy savings, and lasting performance. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award-winning research. The latest orthopedic techniques, right here at home. 
Casio Sports Medicine. At Lake Charles Toyota, the May-June sale is in full swing. We've got huge discounts available on hundreds of new vehicles, and it's not just a bunch of Camrys and Corollas. We've got sale prices available on RAV4s, Highlanders, Tundras, even Tacomas, marked down more than you've ever seen before. And a lot of the sale prices are right there on the windshield. Buying a car doesn't have to be stressful or frustrating or scary. Come to Lake Charles Toyota during the May-June sale and get the best deal you've ever got on a new vehicle and have more fun than you've ever had shopping for a car. Lake Charles Toyota, raise your expectations. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels. Want to remind you, country music getting back to the roots on Friday and Saturday. Curtis Grimes on the stage here at Jack Daniels on Friday. And then it's Steve Griggs. Steve Griggs and the country sounds mm -hmm. right here on the stage at Jack Daniels on Saturday night. So you got it Friday and Saturday night. Yep. Many thanks to Justin Hill for coming in to wrap yeah. up the Cowboys baseball year. Uh, want to uh, mention that his youth baseball camp is not this week, but next week. It would start on like Monday, June 12th. It runs through a Thursday, four days. Yeah. You can send the, uh, the youngsters out there, I think from like six years old to about 13 to the youth camp at McNeese State out on the, on a, out on the big park. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I've had my 12 year old out there and they just, they just teach them and they yeah. work them and they teach them and they work them. And then they have a lot of fun out yeah. there. You can sign up it's at Cowboys Baseball Camp online or uh, the parents can bring the kids out there early on Monday and get them signed up. Uh, the day of the camp. Uh, youth baseball camps are big in the area. Yeah. There are a lot of youth baseball camps and a lot of youth camps. And boy, does it help out, help out the parents. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you ever sent Jennifer to youth camps. I mean, you can, you can kind of go broke writing out the yeah. checks, but yeah. to keep them busy, to keep the kiddos busy for the summer, you can write out a lot of youth camps. Rick, so. I want to go back. You brought up a pretty good point with Coach Hill, and I want to <clears> reference you as to what you was actually talking about. You don't throw compliments my way very often. No, no, I need no, to write no, this no, down. No, no, what is the not, date not, today? Not, not uh, June 5th? Today's the 5th. All right, thank you. You sir. mentioned that the season is a marathon and tournament play is a sprint. It is. Which which you think should weigh the most? I've I've said it for years. Oh, you're talking about conference tournament. Yeah, yeah. Which, I, which I, I, I put a lot of well, weight in winning a conference championship. Basketball and football. Mm -hmm. Or basketball and baseball. I agree. Now, and in I agree. football, it's different it's because different. of the playoffs. And you got to win your conference yeah. championship in most it's cases to get the postseason. Yeah. Now, the I'm, only I'm thing, the, but the, there's a lot of value to a conference tournament. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm wavering with the Southland. Mm -hmm. But that's the way the postseason is played, you know. Yeah, that's Basically, the rules. Hill understands that. Double, yeah, yeah. You don't have to like he it does. sometimes. So, so nothing else, it prepares you yes. for yeah. the real postseason. Yes, yeah. I'm with you on no, that. I see your point. And, and, but, I, but I don't like the analogy of a sprint because those postseason tournaments – most of them end up being who runs out of pitching first. Well, but you know what I'm talking about. It's three or four yeah. days of baseball. Three or four days, weeks, but it's um, it, yeah, it is the a grind yeah, to get yeah. through one. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I realize that. But but you know, in the SEC, mm, yeah. they're going to get six or seven teams yeah, in. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The, the, the cream is going to rise, and they're they going to get in. Yeah, that, that's the way it goes. All right. You know, the SEC, the by the way. As, as of when we started the show, a lot of them are playing right now. Yes, yes, still playing. They had eight teams in, and they hadn't lost any of them yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, uh, Sam Houston wow. wins. Texas yes. Tech number four, them. no, number three seed number in three that Lubbock Regional. Now they're coming. in the Super Regionals. Yeah. LSU is waiting on either Southern Miss and Mississippi State. Now, when yeah. is this thing going to get played? Uh, hopefully tonight, but they have, on a it, it, Mississippi State has to win twice. Twice. Yeah. So if, wow. if they win the first game, they got to play again. They probably got to play again. Yeah. Now whether wow. they would do it at midnight, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would crazy. say Southern Miss that would have an edge here. Oh yeah, it's in you got to, yeah, crazy. because state's a little pitching team. But if they keep getting it backed up, yeah, yeah, wrestling. then you bring a then you bring another guy yeah, back. Exactly yeah. You know, exactly wow. Right. All right, in a shortened segment, let's talk a little football before we get on the NBA Finals yeah. in the next segment. Because I know Kevin and I will have a lot of fun about that. We will. Uh, your prediction of the Cavaliers in a sweep hey. is uh, you said Cavaliers it's, in a sweep. Did you not? 
I did, did you not, not say that? I think I you not. said a sweep. Hey, I'm, I'm just, doing I'm, you like I'm Josh. I do him. I'm Josh. No, <laughs> you said but Cavaliers in like six. I said, I said Warriors in seven. Win. I said they would. Win. Well, you never get very out. specific. They what? could go to Game Seven, but it's not going to be a sweep. That's not going to happen. You, you have to go back to that. Cleveland. You're going back to Cleveland now for two. Say that. It's you did two that, in That's the next second. You go back. Okay. Let's talk some football. We Put never them out of their football. misery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Saints OTA. I have not seen or heard any quotes, and maybe I'm missing it yeah. from Adrian Peterson. But I have seen and read everybody else from Breeze on down, yeah. sideways, and everybody's loving a Adrian Peterson. He I can, know that. I know that. Season I know that. It is the worst kind. I know that. They're in shorts and helmets. You hear about, oh my gosh, this guy is a specimen of the running back everybody dreams of having. And then you get Sean Payton musing about the possibility of putting him in a slot. And can look. he... Can he run look, routes downfield? Look, I'm like Scooter. I'm not saying let me, it's... Let me, let me see it. I was the one in, I wait, was the let's one see it in September. Now, all of a sudden, I you was, guys don't I was like too. Decided? Remember, I was on your side with that. I wasn't real big on that for the mere fact that, you know, well, you, got a guy, you got a guy that's coming in who's aged a little bit, who's had two major knee surgeries. Rick, that's serious, okay, man. Uh, yeah, I know. That, that is serious. So what I'm saying is that you put all this in to Adrian for what you want to do for him this year, in the playbook, in the system, and, but he goes down. You put all that in for this guy right here. What do you do then? All what? Well, all you what? take that well, chance. Yeah, Anybody can you get do, hurt. A two-year contract. Well, Anybody two can contract. get hurt. Granted, a and, if money it, and if it pans out, he's got a quarterback that's no doubt can get him the ball, no matter where he's yeah. on the field. That's not even a question. But I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket with Adrian Peterson. Well, I'm, I'm doing sure it. they're not. I'm not doing it, it does appear, I'm not. I, have, I have stated and I'm and I, 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 I amused about this on this show, that the possibility of Sean Payton using Mark Ingram for some trade bait for a new center or somebody else, it, it, you know, Look, it doesn't man. appear he's going down. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go, go, go to Kevin's side. Because the Saints have to rotate yeah. running backs. Yeah. But, Okay. And you, I, I don't, I don't see Bush, that. Deuce McAllister. I mean, right they, now, they like a couple. Of Ingram has got to be really pissed off. His, his really? fourth year, his fourth year in the league. Last year was his best yeah, year ever. I don't think so. And you bring another guy in. I don't in, think man? so. What are you no, doing? I don't think so. I don't. You, you know. You do that? No. What are you telling me when you do that, Rick? Okay. If, if, if you're gonna sign Adrian Peterson, you can't do it with the idea of well, we can't put in too many plays for him because he might get hurt. No. But no, no, you don't go no. that far. But you also don't trade away Ingram. Oh, I, look, look. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. I but said wait, I Rick, thought they might be, especially after they lost but, Max Unger. Yeah. <laughs> but talk is on ESPN Sports Center. They saying Adrian Peterson could be the guy that lines up in the backfield on start date. We'll see. What do you think that does to Mark Ingram? We'll, we'll see. Mark Ingram. What does that do to him? He'll get paid. Payton's you know what I'm saying. Thing. It's a pride Payton's thing. Off. I don't think he It's will. a pride thing, no, Rick, I think, when it comes to that. It's a pride thing. I think when it, when it comes to the first saying, down, and I'm Mark just Well, saying, you know, doesn't he go ahead? Ingram has a is. little bit of a history of pouting. We'll see. If you remember. We'll see. All right, we're up against the clock. Okay. When we come back, it's okay. NBA Finals. We'll get yes, into LeBron is. James, uh, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry. Oh, yes, my God. Yes, it is. The Warriors and Cavs. Superstars. We'll take a short pause here at Jack Daniels at LaVarge Casino. Stay right there. Sound of 60 is brought to you by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. The boys in the box will be right back. Were the judges right in saying we're the best tasting light beer? You be the judge. Spelled different because it's brewed different. I'm Brett Cassio, a board certified orthopedic sports medicine specialist. I could tell you all about my training at Duke University and Johns Hopkins Hospital or my experience with the Baltimore Orioles. But what people ask me the most is how I would treat my own family if they were injured. And what I tell them is I would treat your family the way I would treat my own. Not every surgeon is board certified and fellowship trained in sports medicine. Training and experience matter.
Come in for live country music Friday and Saturday nights at Jack Daniels Bar and Grill. Lately, Bud Light's been talking about what's on their cans. But at Miller Lite, we focus on what's in our can. More taste, less calories, and half the carbs. Spelled different because it's brewed different. Do not forget about Trivia Tuesdays. Karaoke and Trivia Tuesdays here at Jack Daniels every Tuesday Fun night. Tuesday. Uh, Miller Lite, Coors Light, Schoenerbach beer specials, <laughs> and prizes to be won. Yes. If you answer trivia questions, not our trivia questions, of no. course, we don't win any prizes. We just no, try to look like smart guys. That's it. And uh, great prizes if you sing well and trivia prizes. A lot of fun here on Tuesday Spinning night. Spinning our wheels. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to take a snooze because we're going to talk NBA finals. You want to okay. chime in a little bit? Okay. You can stretch, watching. take a snooze. He's not saying, but he's Just watching. don't yawn. There's no yawning on television. He's watching. Me. Okay, he's I've he's seen watching. you guys yawn on our television show. That's not a good sign. I won't yawn. Please don't do that. All right, two to nothing. Warriors at home, out on the West Coast. I, I, look, yeah. I've heard them termed as blowouts. No, I would not say no. they were blowouts. They were no. comfortable wins by the Golden State Warriors, but they, they were, were not blowouts because near the end, you know, it got a little trashy and they, they got, got some. Home field advantage that person was a blowout. I don't know. I don't no. think. No, I don't. No, it was just a comfortable so win. It was a comfortable win. Now no. you got to go to Cleveland. It's going to be a different ball game. It will be. And, and to say that, <laughs> let, me, let me say, Kevin Durant, he is yeah. going to be the X factor there. No doubt. He has proven to not be everybody's the got Not is, Durant. he is. I mean, But I think that Cleveland, LeBron, they, they are a different breed of guys. When you get hot, they get hot. And you can't do nothing about it. And that hasn't happened yet, Rick. But I think when they go back to Cleveland, Rick, you're going to see a different ball game in how they play right. and how they approach LeBron the I with the that. triple doubles, the, you know, aggressive to the basket. The, he's doing what he can do. You can, and, and the game two, you saw he got gassed. He did. He Game three bit. is Wednesday. Steph, Steph kind of ran him ragged a little Holy bit. Holy smokes. I mean, guys, he's not getting any help from Tristan Thompson. No. And I, I, is it the Khloe Kardashian factor? I don't know. Stop it, Rick. Stop it. I mean, look, when you get those girls, look, those women I can't believe you get all around up NBA and, I and NFL how do you players, get all up they're, they're, I mean, they just Rick. go in the toilet. How do you get those guys? Reggie like Bush, this, man. when he was with the. Uh, oh, what's, her yeah. name? what's her name? What's her name? It was the one of the Kardashian. Huh? One of them. One of them. It doesn't yeah. matter. They're all the Look. same. Look. The long, the one that's married to Kanye West right now. Well, Kim. What, Kim. Kim Kardashian. Kim. And now Chloe. You know what? You saw what she did to Lamar Odom. Oh, my God. She put him in therapy. Oh, she almost God. killed him. <laughs> and now it's Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Look. 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 In all seriousness. Look. He has given them nothing, Kevin. No. He and was me... a thorn last year to Golden State. And nothing. They're getting yeah. no help from, from, uh, from J.R. Smith, he looks like a buffoon out there no. this year. Look, this this Cordova or not Corver can't hit yeah. a shot. They're not getting any help they, from the bench. They okay, they They're will. Not. They and will. And Kyrie Irving has to up his game. He does, but but Kyrie Irving has to score thirty he's, points or more. But he's coming out, and it's you know when he gets out, Rick, you can't stop. I know he's. Great. But I think bringing him back home to Cleveland, I think that. The bench, the bench is just going to have to help Cleveland because LeBron played way too many minutes this last game, way too many. But he did that because he didn't want to see them lose another one. But see, the thing is this. Golden State's got an advantage right now because anytime you play at somebody else's home court, the opposing team, which is the away team, you always want to try and split with them. They didn't get that mm -hmm. done. So they've got to go home and win both of them yeah. to keep it a game. Yeah. You can't lose one at home. No, you can't. I mean, no, you can't. No. So what I'm saying is that when they go back to Cleveland, Rick, Honestly, LeBron has got these guys where he wants them. A lot of them are back from last year. They know how to be professionals and how to attack. Because for some reason, you just play different when you're away from your home. I don't Kevin, know why. No. And last year, Rick, when they went back to Cleveland, you know what I'm saying is true. That's when they started to come back around. That's when it happened. Of course. That's I, I when know it happened. That, but so that's what I'm thinking. This is KD wasn't there. He wasn't there, Rick. He's a future Hall of Famer. That's no He's doubt, Rick. He's a 10-year man in the NBA. Rick, look. He's a former MVP. He's a former league scoring champion. There is LeBron, no doubt what you're LeBron saying. LeBron struggles to guard Kevin Durant. He's he seven does. feet, Rick. He's seven feet, Rick. And he's just he's an not amazing average, player. He's not your average right. guy that can handle the ball the way seven he Seven feet? Yeah, that's what they call him. They call him seven six feet. 6'11", 6'11". Six yeah, seven and a half. feet. He, he plays like he's 6'8". Yeah. yeah. Did y'all know that Stephen Curry is a very avid and good golfer. Is he really? I, I knew he played the golf. I didn't know that he played yeah. golf. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know he played golf. Go ahead. Okay. Thank anyway, you. it had to be something that, that he was familiar with to him to bring. He, Steph Curry, 
his first triple double in playoff. Yeah. That's, that's hard to believe. That is. Okay. That is hard he to believe. He had it in game As two. much as he shoots the ball, Rick. Look. He just jacks it up from anywhere on the and court. Rick, and, you don't and, even and know if he's going to go it. in. And he can make it. I don't know, man. That he kid, can't be. I'm sorry. I love LeBron. Yeah. I love Irving. I, I want LeBron to catch Michael Jordan and surpass him. But that's, not, he's that's not going to do it this year. He's Michael, not going to do it. Michael's one of the best. He's but just let me say get, this. You, you need Tristan Thompson to come in and muscle some to. people around. He needs to. But what I'm Kevin saying Love's is Kevin Love doing what he has to do. I just think that when they go home, and we'll have a discussion as weeks go on, when they go home, they play Kevin, different. They're gonna when they go home, they play different. They're going to have to win four out of five. That's Can not, you imagine? Rick, that's not. That's not what. That's what he did last I, year. Right? I know they want. Uh, Kevin Durant wasn't all yes, that. Yes. 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 You keep bringing KD. Yes. KD well, is the X factor. He's, he's a big he's, difference. He's the X factor. Yes, he's he is. <laughs> you know, before we go, Draymond Green. Okay. He's getting I, on my nerves. I like his he's getting on my nerves. He's getting I, on he my is nerves. getting on my nerves. He's getting on my nerves. Because okay? I saw some he quotes is. that last year. Remember last year when he got suspended? Yeah. The the LeBron James stepping over him was disrespectful. Yeah. And that's why you don't disrespect a grown man, and that's why he charged into LeBron, and LeBron gave him a shove and all this stuff. When you kick a guy in the groin, is that not disrespecting a guy? (laughs) That's disrespecting. And the way he plays, is that not disrespectful? That is. I have to agree with you, Rick. I mean, I got a problem with Jermaine Green. But Uh, he's he's that five starter. You know, he's he's like the guy. That was on the Bulls team as a Dennis Rodman. I know. That's what he he's is. Keeping it in check. That's he's what keeping he is. It in check he's the new Dennis series. Rodman. He's keeping he those emotions he in is. check. <laughs> Game three in yes, Cleveland. Yes, it is. Wednesday. I'm not saying Wednesday that the Cat, I'm not saying the Warriors will sweep. Cleveland no. will win some games. Cleveland got to get it going. This could end in six. They have to get it going. This could end. They have to. All right. It's a lot of fun. We'll take a short pause. We're coming right back. Stay right Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort, home of Sound Off 60. Round five with the boys coming up. Now you've got four more reasons to stay at our luxury hotel. Reserve your room today. 2017 is here, and with it comes our 20th year of serving Southwest Louisiana at Lake Charles Toyota. And we're starting our 20th year just like we finished our 19th, with a first-class experience for our customers and some incredible deals on new vehicles, like 2,000 off MSRP, plus 0% for 72 months financing, plus $1,000 down payment assistance on a 2017 Camry, or if you just want to keep it simple, you can get a brand new IM for $15,995. Don't settle for the same old lousy car buying experience this year. Raise your expectations. Welcome back to Jack Daniels at LaBear's Casino. I want to remind you, the fourth chair next week on next week's show will be occupied by former McNeese star yes. guard Kevin Hardy, who's playing hoops in Europe. Kevin, He's good guy. He's been in and out of town, yes. and he'll be in next week to appear on Sound Off 60 and good talk about uh, his years at McNeese State. Uh, yes. And now playing in Europe, mm-hmm. uh, European ball. That's what he's doing. Uh, and having a time of his life. Yes, he I is. Am sure. So, Kevin Hardy on next week's show. That uh, should be fun. Show. Former St. Louis uh, St. Louis High star. Yeah. Uh, his brother, yeah. a younger now, brother, played you at exactly uh, right, St. Louis High as well. All right. Um, let's talk Tiger Woods. Uh, you guys were making fun of Tiger last week. I was week. not. I was the Stop only common head of the group. I was and not. And I said, hold it. I was not, Rick. The alcohol level. When did we make you, fun? You of. did, because you said, oh, he not. must have been on the hooks. I, yes, who did you, you say you that? Did. Did. You did. I, I did. said that I might be why he's feeling better. I did not say yeah. that. Anyway, I did not the, say the, the reports of the alcohol blood level came back after his arrest in Jupiter, Florida last week. No alcohol in the system. None. Clearly, his statement that he released was, it was a mixture of meds and it had an adverse effect on him. Unexpected yeah. adverse effect on him at two or three in the morning. Now, what is he doing driving his 2015 Wait. Mercedes? 
was Tiger Woods driving in 2015? He was, he was getting in. He was getting in from. It was a good year. Town. It was a good year for Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. He was getting in from out of town. Good but I'm just now. saying, look, it's not a good thing. No, he wasn't getting in. But from he's out getting. Of, I thought he was yeah. just getting in from out of town. That's what he said. Okay. But it wasn't right. The camera, okay. the, the, the dashboard cameras by the local police showed a very incoherent Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. The cop had to repeat his directions doing the 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 well, test we, what do you call it the, the roadside test yeah. five or six times yeah before woods finally said the abc yeah but shockingly I'm so he said i'm pretty good yeah but i'm so glad that it was um, it was not flattering no video. it wasn't at all it, it was really it gets online. worse but the thing that disturbs me more than anything rick i can understand the on dash camera that's you're there that's in both because it's for their safety yes. also of course. i get that but when you go inside and you view, there were cameras inside of him, inside the lockup, the jail, or whatever. That's what they showed that disturbed me. I did not see that. I, yes, saw, I, yes, saw I didn't see yes, that either. Yes, that, no. that's what disturbed That, I think, should have been kept What do you mean there. disturbed you? Well, for the mere fact he was walking around with no shoes on, he was kind of stumbling. He was, he was just, like you said, Rick, he wasn't himself. There was, there was footage would, of him in yes, the lockup? Yes, I did not know yes, that. I had not seen yes, that. Okay, yes, all right, yes. all right. There was a lot of folks that saw it. And I thought that that was something that didn't need to be in the media. That... That, that shouldn't have been. And after you found out that it was no alcohol involved, that should have never been posted or well, even shown. Driving under the influence. It doesn't have to be alcohol. No. It could be meds. It could yeah, be but, drugs. Yeah, but you don't have any control of that you're as to how it's going to You're assuming. You know assume. alcohol is going to have an adverse effect on you because yeah. you're drinking it. He didn't if you expect, take meds, you don't know what the it, effect it, of those are going to be. I, I Rick, don't, if you he take didn't expect You're it assuming it was accidental. I'm now. assuming what now? The, the, this mixture of Come medication well that's what they said they would know school this no, some people do it on purpose it's, you yeah. know no. now we're going yeah, it's, down it's, a whole it's, other it's still troubling that tiger woods got behind the wheel of a mercedes benz at one two or three in the morning yeah. after taking some meds but maybe he felt okay maybe he went for a drive maybe he's going to somebody's house yeah. i don't know and all of a sudden it affected him well he obviously yeah. wasn't thinking clearly yeah, obviously yeah. obviously he's got yeah. two young kids he should not be doing that. No. He apologized profusely. He did. He committed he did. to doing better. He committed not to have this happen again. He needs he needs help of, of somebody close to him to watch out for his best interest in these kind of situations. All right? I agree because and I think the golfing community from Jack Nicholas on down because it was Jack's tournament this past week. Yeah. yeah. Is in support. Nobody came out no, being overly critical yeah. of Tiger. They want to show him because support everybody was and waiting help. to see what the outcome was going to be, like the three of us. And I was glad that it wasn't alcohol. Yes, which, which he's never had problems of that in past, as I can no. recall. Has I'm it ever been? I, I just want him back out there, guys. I want Tiger Woods. It's not going to happen. He's got to get his life together. You're, you're adamant about that, and he's I just, I just don't agree with oh, that. I, I want him I'm back out there him, too. No. He'll never be Tiger again. He may well, get back okay, out there. All right. Well, Phil Mickelson at 47 isn't Phil Mickelson of 38. But it's still a pretty good Phil Mickelson well, at times. I mean, Tiger intimidated people. You think Rory yeah. McIlroy's ever going to be intimidated by Tiger? Where's Rory McIlroy? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time Rory McIlroy won? It's been a while. Yeah. Okay. He, he wasn't sleeping in a Mercedes. Uh, all right, all right. Anyway, Good. that's the story of yes. Tiger Woods, and hopefully we can get through that and uh, get yes. him out on the course eventually. Yes. Two more weeks, the U.S. Open. Yes. The St. Jude's Classic, I believe, is coming up this weekend in Memphis. Jason Duffner wins the Memorial in a couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah. Now we play again for real. The U.S. Open. Dustin Johnson, Jason Day, my man. We're going to see how all that turns out. It's going to be, be a right. good turn Rick. Father's Day weekend, right? U.S. Yes, Open is always on Father's yes, Day weekend. Yes, it is. All right, we're up against the clock. Stump the Wise Guys. Good news for Cal Fishy Parish and high school athletics. We'll get yes. into that after Stump the Wise Guys and the lovely ladies coming up next. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by our friends at Jack Daniels Barn Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Sound Off 60, 24-7, online at soundoff60tv.com. When you make something first, you can spell it however you want. Miller Lite, the original light beer. Spelled different because it's brewed different.
Come in for live country music Friday and Saturday nights at Jack Daniels Bar and Grill. Are you trying to stay cool with a temporary fix? There's a smarter solution. Save on your monthly energy costs while enjoying quiet and consistent comfort this summer with a highly efficient air conditioning system from Luxair. We'll recommend a system that is perfectly suited to your home and provides optimal cooling, exceptional energy savings, and lasting performance. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board certified and fellowship trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award-winning research, the latest orthopedic techniques, right here at home. Casio Sports Medicine. Were the judges right in saying we're the best tasting light beer? You be the judge. Spelled different because it's brewed different. All right, welcome back to the show. Time to stop the wise guys. The lovely Cassie has yes. joined us with four, maybe five, maybe four questions. She's ready. We're ready. We're ready, too. Uh, one of the questions might be how many games is it going to take at the Warriors to be the I Cavs? I bet I've got and the answer to that one, too. All right, here we go. Let's, what too. you got, Cassie? All right. Between the Warriors and the Cavaliers, who wears T-shirt type jerseys and who has the no sleeve version? Ooh. For one... T-shirt versus what? LeBron. No sleeve. LeBron's wears oh, the T-shirt. T-shirt versus wife the beater. sleeve. Yeah, sleeve is LeBron's wears What do you that. call it? Wife beater. Wife beater. You know? <laughs> LeBron uh, wears that. Uh, no, no. Uh, Cleveland is wearing the T-shirts. So the, the Warriors are wearing sleepers. LeBron's wearing T-shirts. They're all wearing yeah, T-shirts. Yeah, but they, okay, okay. So the, the other one is the Warriors wearing the sleeves. I'm going to say Cleveland wears the T-shirts. T-shirts. The Warriors wear the no Sleep. Yeah. All right. That's correct. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Weird. I hope they're not all that NBA. That weird. I can go ahead and check all out. All right. Why are the Warriors? Holy smokes. What is that for? Is it a birthday Who's for birthday? on the show? <laughs> I think it's hot. It's birthday. It's hot birthday, birthday, man. Son of uh, a gun. How did that happen? Holy Oh my! Hob, Hob, you're famous here, man. Let, oh, me, let, let me tell you. See if you got any. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like a, that's like a Roman wow. candle. I did it. Great oh, job. So Great congratulations, job. All right. sir. All Made another one. Happy birthday. Made another one. All right. We would right. sing, but it's not karaoke. Too. We love you, Hob. Um, All right. Here, here we go. All right. That was question. the birthday oh, party. Why are the Warriors nicknamed the Dubs? The who? The, the Warriors. Dubs. The doves. Yes. doves. The doves. The doves. That's new doves. to me. Doves. Doves. Yes. Doves. D-U-B-S. D-U-B-S. Yes. Doves. For dub. I don't for call w. them that, but I've read them. For W. Know. What? For U-Dub. D- w. Dub. 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 Like dub. Warriors. We're going to go with that because that, of the word W. The letter W. All right, then. All right. Holy Scooter birthday, boy. Got Scooter. an NBA one. Got it one. Don't watch any. The dub. Good Scooter the dub. Because of W. That's w, yes. The dub. Okay. They call right. Washington U Dub. Okay. There we go. Um, which current NBA final starter is related to one of the original members of the rock band, the Beach Boys? Oh, that's easy. Of the Kevin, rock band, who? The Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Oh, Beach Boys. Um, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. His I was going to say Kevin Love. Uh, was Mike Love. Or I was going to say Kevin Love. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That is I was going to say Kevin Love. Yes. Kevin Love. Good job. Unbeatable. After you got we the dub, we're unbeatable. Yes. There we yeah. go. Yeah, that's correct. Here we go. Any more? Is there, is there is that another one? Not one more? We usually have four. Oh, yeah, you do have yeah, four. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> bonus, bonus. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. Uh, yeah, Kevin Love is the nephew of the Beach Boys, founder and lead singer, Mike Love. Mike Love. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, and one, we got one, one more? more? Is that one it? One more, yep. Okay. Um, name three of the NBA final starters that are sons of former NBA players. Okay. Um, uh, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Easy. Uh, uh, um, we're going to go with um, number 30. Um, um, his dad played. Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry's dad, dad was Del Curry. Del Curry. No. Um, um, also, you have um, oh, it's uh, Michael right here. Uh, Clay Thompson's dad. Clay was Thompson Michael dad. played for the Lakers. Yes. One more, Rick. Um, what's the guy named the big the big guy? His dad. His dad played with the um. His dad played with um. I gotta oh, go with Kevin Love. Man. I don't know who his dad was, but I'm gonna take a I don't stab think it was because Kevin he's six ten. I think it's Kevin Love. I don't think it was Kevin well, Love. I thought his dad was in the Beach Boys. His, his uncle. uncle. It was the guy that Who? played. 
We're running with out of the time. Knicks. I don't know, but God uh, dog, I knew that I'm one. Gonna, I'm going to use Sharp. Out. I'm going to override. Big guy. I think it's Kevin Love. I don't think it's, it's Kevin, Kevin Love. Love. Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. Their dads Steph Curry all played Thompson, in the NBA. But I don't think it was Kevin right, Love. Am I right or wrong? You're right. What? Kevin Love? Kevin Love. Yeah, B. That's, that's a wild guess. Too? Okay, that's I didn't a wild think, guess. I thought it was the big guy with the book. Happy birthday, by the way. That's the birthday. Fantastic. Fantastic. Got some right. dessert there, man. Uh, Burton Coliseum uh, yes. regains the boys' yes. uh, high school state yes. basketball tournament. Uh, McMurray and Frash mm -hmm. regain the, the state tournaments for the for the boys' baseball and fast pitch 95, 100, yes, and 520, also. however yeah. many Fast teams pitch 2,000. Now, we the got only pretty thing much the local area did not get in the, the girls? was the girls' basketball tournament. It's going to shift from Hammond to Alexandria. Yeah, and Alexandria has that new arena, too, Rick. That kind of. Coliseum. Yeah, that kind of. You know, a I, bit of it's not maybe new. It's, a lot, it's new. Uh, maybe it was renovated. It's renovated. Okay. Maybe it's a lot to ask for the boys and the girls to we be We wanted the girls, location, though. We wanted the girls. But bad. if you do an office on separate weeks, then that's yeah. the only way to do it. I don't see why not. But congratulations the girls. to the local Oh, yes. Eric Zartland did a great getting, job. Man. Yeah, of getting the, the Boys State Basketball Tournament, the Top 28, back yes. to Burton Coliseum. And, of course, no, I don't them. think anybody did on the on the baseball, right? Uh, no, softball no, and girls. It was, no. I, it was I think softball has it It was the place in. to be. Right? I just think hands they down. have it locked in. Cassie, we appreciate great it. Great job. Thank We're you. doing it all again next yes, time, everybody. Thanks for being here with us. Happy birthday, Mr. Hobbs. Mr. Hobbs. Happy birthday, boy. Enjoy the fire cake, all right? We'll see you next time, everybody. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenly Cable Channel 4 Monday through Sunday nights at 9 and again Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10. Sound Off 60 also airs throughout Southwest Louisiana on Vive Broadband Channel 6 at 9 p.m. Check your local listings. Post your questions and comments for the guys and access our website and our great advertising partners at soundoff60tv.com.